G'day guys, it's Jara here and we're back with a normal lost phone. So, we're going to get back on into it. It's been a while since I've played this, so... Sorry if I forget everything. So, let's go into Lovebirds. Ooh, two accounts. Okay. Sam Thing, 18 years old. I'm a nice 18 year old boy with blue eyes. I love board games, jazz, and a good movie. But I'm not much of a reader. I just came out of a long, complicated relationship. And I don't know what I'm looking for yet. Maybe true love? I don't really know if you can find that sort of thing on the internet, but you never know. What I'm not looking for is a person who lies. I don't like lies. I really don't like lies. Why do people lie so much? Well, I do admit I lie every now and then, especially to my mum. It's for her own sake. If she knew what I was up to, she would freak out. And you, dear profile reader, do you like occasionally to avoid hurting someone's feelings? Yep, I'm the same, Sam. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna read from Sushi Turtle. Oh, OMG, you got so much in common, and I like guys with blue eyes. But honestly, when I read your profile, I was like, OMG. I like board games ago. I haven't played them for years, but I used to like them. Also, jeez, can't you just write all one paragraph? I also like lie sometimes. Like I lied to my ex, but it was because I didn't want to hurt him because he isn't the kind of guy who likes truth anyway. And guess what? I'm not much of a reader either. Clearly, you saw a reader wrong. But I've seen all the series. Okay, sometimes I read like magazines on my phone or tablet when I'm at the office. But books are boring, especially ones that I read once. But it was just that one about the life of a top model, like based on her life, and that was cool. I learned a lot. Hello. Okay, so I didn't reply to that one. Gina, hello. I like your profile. Sorry, I didn't see your message last night. Thank you. Tell me something about yourself. What are you reading right now? Uh, nothing. I don't like reading all that much. It's on my profile. I thought you read it. No. But she didn't read it. You pierced my curiosity. What did you lie to your mom about? I would be the same. Hmm. Let's say I didn't exactly tell her the whole truth about where I'm going. Oh, big secrets? The places you go must be very special if you want to tell your mom. I'm definitely super curious right now. Tell me everything. What's your biggest... What's your big secret, Sam thing? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall to hear your conversation with your mum and try to work out the truth from the lies. Huh, I'm a detective. Welcome to Lovebirds. Okay, so that was pretty useless. Can we get into the Sam thing? Oh, this is a locked one. Oh, okay. So that's his real one, is the Sam thing else. Uh, gallery. So, this is the, oh, he's, he's, that's the father, yeah, I remember the father's birthday, that was the girlfriend, who's not anymore, calendar, is there any corning calendar, movie with Alice Cool Theo, 18th, dentist appointment, museum trip, Hmm. Let's check December. Party. Oh, is playing to part. Dad's birthday. Book club. Movie. Book festival. Why would he go to a book festival if he's finished with book club? Okay, so... What is it? This one is the one... The 19th of 12, 2015. 19, 12, 15. I want to try that in this one. 1912 1912 Oh, hold on. It's America. Duh. I forget this game is America and they do opposite. Oh. So female. Interesting. So let's read messages. Read. Hello. Phil. Oh, you message. Hello, something else. It's for your real name. I'm Sam. Nice to talk to you, Sam. Yes, I am Phil. I hope your surname is free. It sounds cool. Well, I hope it was only I hope it wasn't only your nickname that caught my your attention. No, I quite like your profile, especially the part where you open up about being bisexual and getting involved in fighting against all kinds of discrimination. 
It's so different from others. It makes me want to read it several times. It gave me good vibes, I guess. Oh, I'm going to blush. Thank you for your kind words. Don't be silly. I'm impressed. It is very inspiring. You must be a courageous person. Oh, you know, it's not really brave to be honest with yourself on the internet and no persona. I only started to accept myself and it took a while. It took me quite a while. Really? What? I always get this word wrong. Specifically made it possible for you. I owe my friends I have made at the LGBT centre in my town. Lesbian, gay, bi, trans. I received a lot of support from them and in the end I understood I wasn't a weird freak and I had to accept myself for what I was. Haha, <laughs> you don't need to explain to me what LGBT means. I got that LGBT centre in my town as well. Oh, are you bisexual as well? Um, I'll tell you more next time. I have to go to a relative's coming tomorrow. I can't sleep late. Okay, see you soon. Hey Sam, how are you? Did you enjoy your family time? Hi Phil, I'm c I'll confess I'm not too happy. It ro really wasn't a good time for me. Oh, what happened? Well, my relatives are quite old school. Not really open about the LGBT topics. You know what I mean. I do. Did you try to come out and it went badly? Oh no, I wouldn't even try with them. They'd immediately kick me out. That's sad. That like parents aren't accepting enough to support if you're bi or gay or trans or uh, queer or just any others that pansexual, asexual, other ones I don't know. Um, it sucks. Like it really does. And I think you gotta have that connection with your parents and be like, look, can we keep an honest relationship? And like with my parents, we're very honest with each other, and they've always said to me. If you ever want to tell me something, more than happy to. If you ever come out for anything, if you are not straight, we will accept you no matter what. So stuff like that. Ouch, that sucks. You think they'd be bothered to have a bisexual daughter? I don't know about that. Maybe they'd accept it. I don't think they'd accept the idea that their son is a girl very easily and bisexual as well. So they're a trans bisexual. Okay. So I'm very... Okay, I'm going to talk for a sec. I'm very accepting when it comes to the whole trans and bisexual and all that stuff. Because I got a lot of friends who are bisexual, who are gay, bisexual, lesbian, and all those. And, you know, a lot of them. So I'm very, like, open. I got gay friends, all that stuff. So when I see people, like, hating on stuff like that, and I'm like, why? Why in the world would you hate on someone because they're being who they are? And I see that constantly, and it really sucks, you know? Especially because we're on the internet, we get judged so quickly. And it's a really frustrating thing, and... I feel like that we need communities that are... supportive, and caring, and loving, and... That's what I want, is... Something like that, where you can have a conversation with someone, and just be yourself and not be afraid and you know things like that um i'm trying to see if re reply to any um so you, he only really they only really sorry they only really talk to phil okay i remember there's a secret thing for the calculator music that's fine um but I'm going to say this right now, if you ever want to come to anyone that's in this community and be yourself, please don't be afraid to. I want this place that is my little part of the internet to make you guys feel like that you're safe and secure and not that you're afraid to do anything. So please just don't be afraid to talk to me. Okay, so... Okay, I need to figure out where that book festival was. Um, so, book festival. For anything that says book festival, I need to check. Happy birthday, so we'll see it. Hello. Okay, um. You attach too much to dates, I'm sure half your passwords are just dates no matter what. Okay, so that's helping. Um, 
I'm just look quickly having a quick skim and scan through them all. Love birds don't really matter. So this is board games. So that's just constantly the same thing. Alice. Uh, okay, that's just, we already knew that part. Alice, what, what's happening? Okay, okay sass over there. That's the music. I know we've gone through this, I'm just double checking everything because I'm trying to remember. Maybe when did he first start? I don't know what. What are you doing? I'm trying to find something that. They look like a cute couple. But it's not what they want to have, that's fine. Uh, maybe scent stuff? I know I'm just, again, going through them really quick, but I'm trying to see if. Any drafts? Ooh, trash. Hmm. What is this? I want to do any money. Okay, yeah, that's just. Hmm. Okay. I know that weather has to do with something. <sighs> hmm. This is sounding really familiar. I remember reading something about that because the rest. Oh, I don't know. This is sounding really familiar. The eight five nine two two. Eight five nine two two. I'm gonna try that. Cause that sounds really familiar. I'm pretty sure that's like the gay capital or something. So this is his diary. Okay. So yeah, let's read through this. I finally got a new phone to replace the one that got stolen. It works alright, but I got mixed feelings about it. I lost all I had on my old phone, old pictures and messages. On the other hand, I like to think there's some meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, come on, it's time to start a clean state. Take your life into your own, own hands and start anew. Tomorrow there's a meeting to support group for LGBT, LGBT teens. Maybe I'll convince myself to go. So I went to the support group meeting. I had to make up some thing for my mum to let me go. I told her I'd join a book club. Okay, so I'll have to explain that. She was so excited about it, she made a cake for me to bring. She really does everything she can to help me make new friends. Though if she knew that the kind of friends I made, I'm sh not sure she'd been baking many cakes. Board game meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She threw yet another fit because of Alice. I had to say, it bothers me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Alice thinks I'm Samara, but to Melissa, I'm Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. Oh. I have to tell Melissa one day, but for now, I just don't feel like I can do it. Plus, we've been together for three years, and she probably thinks it's a total, it's totally forever, forever kind of deal. Me too. I'm head over heels for her, but I know she won't be okay with Samara. Thankfully, Melissa doesn't want to have before getting married because honestly I really do not want to be naked in front of her for now I don't feel comfortable enough in my body for that whenever you want to you need to be comfortable not what they are comfortable to when you're comfortable to don't push yourself out of your own limit today the support group advised me to come out to at least one person I trust I thought I could always talk to Alice about it this Sunday she Thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably wouldn't take it, it badly if I admit her I was born Samuel. What a shitty day. I expected to come out to Alice today during our board games afternoon meetup. Not only did I manage to do it, but I ended up withdrawing completely, stuck in my little shell. Did I not? Lola, the stupid moron, told me she had to talk to me about something private. So apparently her boyfriend goes to the same school as me. 
and upon seeing his glass photo, she recognised him, but like as Samuel. So obviously she asked questions. I tried to come up with something, like having a twin, and the likes, but I ended up swearing something and I felt really embarrassed. She told me I could tell the truth, being all, you know Samara, you can trust me, with her teeny boppy voice. You know Samara, you can trust me. Turns out I told her everything, what a mistake. She took it way too bad. She told me I was a monster, that she didn't want me to come and play with them ever again. I just felt like dying. Tomorrow's trans pride, trans pride day. I'm so excited I can barely sleep. So it's the 19th. Trans pride was amazing. I just felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one to judge me. It was great. And Convenia is such a sweet city. I'd love to live there rather than in Merlin. Seriously, Merlin is the most bi gay city in the world. I'm pre pretty certain that half the population doesn't even know what LGBT stands for. It was my dad's birthday today. We had a cozy event. It was only my parents and Melissa. It was just unpleasant. They talked about queer couples' rights to adopt. I don't know if parents were sort of close-minded on the topic, and apparently so was Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I never dare come out to him. That really sucks. It really does, like... People think that, you know, oh, they were close-minded, they'll forgive you and love you because they're your parents. It's not that easy. So it's, you got to come out to people you're comfortable with. What is she today? I broke up with Melissa. We were going to meet up tonight to celebrate the new year, just the two of us. I thought it was going to be a relaxing evening, but that she, that's the evening that she was going to be tired because of the flight, but that seemed to be the case. Like, oh, she even wanted to go all out tonight. To think she was told me she wanted to wait until getting married. All of a sudden, she sends me a pic of the lingerie she was going to wear tonight. I suppose she felt threatened by Alice and thought it'd be a way to keep me around for longer. But like, no way. I just didn't feel like I could keep lying to her, but I couldn't tell the truth either. So this is like his signature? Melissa's mum called. Apparently she's tried to commit suicide on New Year's Eve. I can't believe it. It's my fault. I'm so idiotic. I'm the worst. I feel awful after hearing the news. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean and told her everything. She was terrific. It made me... It really did me good to finally tell the truth. But it doesn't change the fact I feel crap about because of Melissa. How could she do this? Melissa told me I was toxic. Honestly, I don't deserve to live. Now you're spiraling into something really bad here. You gotta stop listening to the bad people or only care about the positivity in your life. I've been contacted by a loud no who was interested in my music and will join her. See, that's good to hear. I signed up to a dating website today. Alice convinced me it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sad. So, for starters, the website doesn't seem at all open to homosexual or bisexual people. No way to check profiles of your own gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. I really wonder if it was a good idea. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I have, I have had it. I don't know how this could have day gone any worse. First, I learned by Theo that our parents have been lying to us for years. Telling my cousin Eric I joined a cult when he actually got kicked out when his parents divorced, discovered he was gay. Trying to come out in this effed up family is out of the question. I had a feeling about that. The second type of news of the day is that Alice is leaving Merlin. She just got in for a semester abroad her dream university. She's leaving very soon. My one and only support in this shitty city is leaving. I can't even bring myself to be happy for him, even though I should. Two days and I will be eating. I'm not a believer, but today I pray for something to happen. I just want somebody to tell me, don't mind the others, erase them all from your life, don't keep anything from the present, leave your boy wardrobe in Merlin, throw away your phone, and leave to start and do somewhere. There, we just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five minutes now. I don't reply to... I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm an adult. I wish I could say a brave, independent adult person, but it's more like a trans adult stuck in Merlin. I seriously seem like I stay one more day. I'm, I'm gonna do something wrong. Ooh, I received an email. Okay, so this is one. Could be it. Hey, Alice. Uh, I'm writing from the computer from the LGBC, so now I got there, and I'm planning to rebuild my life here. Okay. Um, kind of decision on a whim, but I really couldn't st stand my life in Merlin. I was suffocating there. So you are my only really hope. We're really only support. So when you tell me you're leaving, Merlin, I got depressed. In truth, you're right. I am attached too much to important dicks. Especially 
signs from fate. Sorry, my mouth is just going weird today. And I was waiting for a sign, just something. And guess what happened? My birthday present was a motorbike. How could I not see the sign? Me looking for a way to sleep. I said I was going for a ride. I got away. I felt so relieved to be gone. I wanted to erase every track of my old life where I couldn't recognize myself. So I threw away my phone without thinking. So well, I can't call you. Now that was dumb. I mail you my new number, promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked and anyone can find it. That really bothers me. I don't want people searching it. Those are only traces of my old life and an old me I can't even recognize anymore. Okay, so this is from Alice right now. Hey Sam, I'm glad you were able to gather your courage to rebuild your, your life. Even if you're very far away from now, you can still calm me when things are wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely someone will find it, erase all the data and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's still an almost brand new phone. If it's someone with good intentions, they'll want to look around a bit to return to its owner. And when they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons why you left. And will decide to erase all your data to erase every trace of your escape. Oh... Okay, so I can do that, but I want to double check through everything before doing that. I feel like I'm not getting everything. But I'm not sure where to look. Because, I don't know. They're so pretty. I'm looking at all attachment stuff. Cause they'll be the ones that has photos and whatnot. Can I look at anything? No? Okay. I really don't want to miss anything, but I feel like I am. I erase all the data. Do you really want to erase all the data? Why well, this action cannot be undone? The truth. Thanks for playing a normal lost phone, a game by Accidental Queens. That's cool. I like that. Oh, I can. Sorry. Thanks to all our awesome translators and proofreaders. Thanks. We especially like to thank you people allowing us to cover the topics a normal lost phone chose to address more accurately by sharing the experience of LGBTQT people priding us with characters. Aw, that's so nice. We just like all the people who took part in our playtest. Big thank you to people who supported us. That's really nice. Oh, so this was backed up. That's really cool. A lot of people backed it up. This is really nice. So I can restart the game. So you found the phone, try and find the truth. Oh, okay. So, that is the end of a normal lost everyday phone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And again, do not be afraid to talk to your lovely family. That is this one. Anyway, right, see you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out, and let's bring it in for a very scarcet hug. Bye bye. See ya. I feel like I'm missing a punch, a ton of stuff in this, and I feel really bad, but.